After Jerry Finn's passing, how hard was it to work with new producers? And have you found a similar chemistry with, that you have with Jerry since? No, uh, no. I mean, we've had, we've, we've come up with relationships that were as good as the one that we have with Jerry, but nothing like what we have with Jerry. Jerry Finn <laughs> defined for us what Blink-182 was, what we sounded like, what our strengths were. Um, he was the most generous producer. He had the greatest love of music. He wanted no part of fame at all. He would give no interviews. He wanted his picture taken, not at all. He was most at home in the studio and he stood firm for what he believed in. And he was back in the early, earlier studio days, engineers and producers would come up with different techniques of recording or different compression or different EQs and they would guard these secrets jealously and it would be their thing and they never wanted to talk about how they got a certain sound and Jerry wasn't like that at all. If there was somebody that wandered into the studio and goes, oh, how'd you do that thing on the guitar? And Jerry would come here, look at this, this is what I did. And he'd bring it and he'd go over to the gear and he'd start pulling stuff up and he would show you exactly how he got that sound. Um, he was just a great guy and him passing away way too early was a gigantic devastating thing for all of us. John Feldman, we have the same level of trust with John, but it's very different than how we work with Jerry. Jerry would kind of show up, and he kind of like, he, God, it was infuriating. He'd show up late, and he'd get on his computer, and he'd start looking up compressors and old guitars and things like this, and we'd be working and working and working, and we'd come to an impasse on something, and we'd be like, Jerry, dude, come on. Do your job, do something. And he would just look up and he'd go, the course isn't working because of this one thing right here. Fix that. And I go, oh, <laughs> that's right. And he was cool because he grew up playing in punk rock bands. So he could, he knew what worked in a song, what didn't work in a song. But he also came up through the studio system as an engineer, as a runner, as an assistant. So he knew how to get all the greatest sounds. So he kind of did everything. Thank, thank you. Right, one last question. Uh, Who's got the best?